Okay. So, I guess Bray Wyatt is going to start attacking me or something? I don't know. I also don't know why they're starting to show uh, Matt Hardy here. What does he have to do with anything? He's not involved yet. Yeah. Uh, hey, Matt. Never mind. Sorry to interrupt um, whatever it is you're doing. What does it look like? I'm rosining my violin bow as one does. Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, uh, listen, I've got a match coming up against Bray Wyatt, and I was just kind of hoping you might be able to give me some advice. Brother Buzz, are you woken? Oh my god, the um, woken. <laughs> I think so. If one is not woken, then there is no hope in combating a force such as the monster you speak of. And even I, who is supremely <laughs> woken, have lost many battles to him in the Great War. Uh, yes. Okay, so how do I become woken? That is like asking how your vessel breathes the air. It must materialize on its own. Or there is the technique of a jaunt to the multiverse, but all this rosining about and dispensing of wisdom has given me much weary. I must retreat to my quarters. Good evening, come here. Okay, thanks. I guess. I'm well, uh, not sure that was very helpful for Buzz. Coming up next up. Oh, oh shit. It's Bray Wyatt. A backstage brawl? Yeah. We're going to have a backstage brawl. Uh, or not. Or we're going to fade to black. And the game's going to crash. Okay. <laughs> That's Matt Hardy's Woken uh, character, which is really his broken character from the indies, but TNA wouldn't let him use it. In WWE, so they changed it to Woken. And they're ready to go in the backstage area. And guys, nobody walks away from a backstage brawl better than when they went in. That's including the winner. Vicious shot to the leg. <laughs> the human body can only absorb so much of that. Here we go. Get Bray Wyatt to your van in the parking lot. Oh, okay. I'll just do that now. Fuck it. Ah, oh my god. There it is. Action is on the move now. Never know where the action is going to take us. Okay. In the face. Uh oh. Watch out. Oh, shoulder first. Oh my God! He's got a gas can. He's got a gas can. He's gonna burn the van. He's gonna burn the van. Is he really gonna do this? This is bad. Oh no. Considering this would be a major fire hazard that would destroy an no, entire parking sick. lot and put the whole arena in jeopardy, I don't think so. Oh my god. Come on now! Please don't do this! No! Oh my oh god! My god! What kind of twisted individual would destroy something that meant so much to Buzz? Wow. Ray Wyatt would. The man operates under a different set of rules. Uh, I can't believe this. Well, that was a quick one. <laughs> That was certainly a quick one. If only Buzz wasn't so stupid to leave open gasoline cans full of gas laying right next to his van. The Wow. <clears throat> yeah, Size Vices then explodes and kills everyone. Yeah, it would set off a chain reaction blowing up all the cars in the parking lot. There you see Buzz arriving for his match tonight at TLC versus Bray Wyatt. Yeah, I noticed he wasn't driving his van because Bray Wyatt torched it. And that wasn't just any van. It was a gift from his late father. You have to imagine he'll be seeking revenge on Bray Wyatt tonight. Shout out to Hugh Mungus, who has resub for the eighth month in a row. Thank you, Hugh Mungus, for the eight-month resub. Appreciate that. Oh, Mr. Popsicle said, and he had no insurance. The van was probably worth like $10. Probably not worth insuring. <laughs> okay. What's Finn Balor doing in here? 
Hey, you probably don't want to talk about it right now, but I'm sorry about what Bray did to your van. I know it meant a lot to you. Thanks. I appreciate you saying that. Wait, 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 wait. wait. <clears throat> Were you gonna hug me because that's your thing, or because you're worried about what might happen tonight? Um, more the second one. <laughs> I'll be fine. The only person anyone should be worried about is Bray Wyatt. Bray's gonna get fucked. <laughs> what does Finn have to say? Hey. <clears throat> what the hell? I've had my share of battles with Bray in the past. I know how you're, how you're feeling. Did he ever set fire to something valuable of yours? No one, I'm sorry about that. If I give you some advice, it would be to dig down and find a violent place deep within yourself. Good luck. Remember, when it comes to Bray, be prepared for anything. Okay. I know you were cleared by the doctor, but I need to personally make sure you're both physically and mentally fit to compete tonight after what Bray Wyatt did to you last week. There's nothing that could stop me from getting revenge on Bray for what he did. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Match time for the IC title. What the hell? Oh my god, Bray's <laughs> gassing him? What the fuck is this? What the hell? Poison gas. He's he's dead. That's it. That's the end of my career mode. He's Buzz is dead. He poisoned him. It was asbestos. Asbestos gas. He's done. It was Agent Orange. Wow. Where is Bray taking him? Somebody uh, needs to stop this. How is the cameraman filming this? If he's <laughs> what the hell is going on? This is pretty over the top. Oh, Buzz uses the song Elias wrote about him to keep cats and stray animals away from his van. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. The House of Horrors match? Oh my god, it's the House of Horrors match. Originally this was Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. It's the fucking House of Horrors. Follow the figure with the bat. Wow. <laughs> By the way, The Miz never got a rematch. You notice that, right? The Miz never got his rematch. Oh, hello. There's another bat over there. Baron Blade. What? I was nowhere near him. Play must win by KO. No, get out, get out, get out. Nice. Reverse. Now he can't reverse anything. Get the bat. He can't reverse. Bonk. Well, I'm definitely gonna win this one. He can't fucking reverse. Bonk. What's with the sound effects? Bonk. Good guy! Just keep beating him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Pick it up. There's another sledgehammer there. He took it. I got robbed. I was hitting him and it fucking didn't count. It's so stupid. Reversed. He got a finisher for... I guess that was his move. That must have been his payback move. He got a finisher. He reversed it, but then he couldn't get up because he, he's so hurt. Kick it up. I got to destroy his body. And then KO him. 
Okay. So you want to fuck with me, huh? You want to impersonate Baron Blade, someone from my past? Yeah, you want to impersonate someone, huh? Yeah, you want to open up old wounds, huh? I'm going to open up a few new ones on you, asshole. Come here. Come here, fuckhead. I hope that's a padded mask. That's all I have to say. I hope it's a fucking padded mask because you're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. You're fucked. All right, now get up. Get up. You fucking piece of shit. Get up. I need stamina. Finisher! Will it knock him out? Yes! I won! I did it! I completely destroyed whoever this was. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, that's it. What the hell? It, it's not ending. Oh, there we go. A replay of me beating the shit out of him. <laughs> A replay of the fucking beat the shit out of him. Great. Oh my god! Attack from behind- Zombie Triple H! It's Zombie Triple H! Zombie Triple H is taking me out with a sledgehammer. And he drags me to hell. Zombie Triple H drags me to hell. It's over. It's all over. <laughs> well, happy Halloween, everyone. It's certainly the this right month to be playing this. What in the hell? Okay, then. Zombie Triple H. <laughs> this is great writing, writing move, Walkman. What are you talking about? This is amazing. So now we have to fight. Get right to the tractor and hit him with a strike. There we go. Into the tractor. Oh. <laughs> sure, are a lot of crickets out here. See you later, Derek. My next WWE session will be sometime this week. I think maybe Tuesday. I'm not 100% on that, but I think maybe Tuesday. Boosh! Jamie broke the 2x4 on him. Damn. Okay. Get everywhere at the yellow health to bring him to the porch. There we go. That was easy. Four elbow. We're going inside. We're going to go inside the house of horrors. Oh my god. Come on, go inside. No. Get him to red health. Jesus. You reversed. Don't do that. Ow. Reversal. That is press. Get him to red health. Come on. No, be reversed. I have no reversal now either. I'm screwed. He can do whatever he wants to be right now. I can't do shit. Oh no, I just earned a reversal. Okay, I just earned one with my payback. Oh, mash, mash, mash. Come on, mash, 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 mash. Yes. Yes. Good shit. Got him. Red health. Now what? Get him to the porch of the cabin. Okay. There we go. <laughs> this stupid match. <clears throat> oh my god. He's got the gas. That's right. You burned down my van. I burned down your house, bitch. I burned down your fucking house. With this very small amount of gas. Yes. Ultimate revenge. <laughs> Very nice. 
<laughs> so did I win? Yes! Followed the buzzers. I got a silver trophy. That's the end of chapter 10. Wow, that was... The Wyatt compound has been unlocked. Triple H monster has been unlocked. Baron Blade monster has been unlocked. Triple H's crown and a bunch of credits. That's awesome. That's freaking awesome. That was all chapter 10 back to back. Wow. Okay then. The The Wyatt family made their debut on Raw in July 2013, viciously attacking Kane. This would set the tone for Bray Wyatt's career in the WWE. Matt's been a fan of Matt and Jeff Hardy since their debut in 1998. Buzz is not quite sure what to make of Matt since he's become Woken. <laughs> okay then. <clears throat> That's cool, Zombie Triple H. Kurt Angle. Oh wait, I gotta upgrade, right? Thought this feature would make you feel better. We're breaking to you a sick. Hope you're okay. I got 14 points. Oh, I wanna get this one down here. Momentum. All right, now let's keep going up. Reversal. Momentum. These are all good. I think the one to the left is strength. I want that one. Yeah, strength. I really want that. What's this? Gravel offense. I want that. Okay. Strike speed, that's good. Strike reversal, that's good. Strike speed, that's good. These are all very good. Movement speed, that's really good. Another movement speed. Arm power. Foreign object offense. And reversal offense. There you go. And yes, I know I unlocked a overcharge point, but there's really no reason to use it because I don't use overcharge. Alright, I'm ranked 60 now. Okay, let's talk to Angle. To <clears throat> How are you feeling today? Not great. I'm sore. I have a nasty headache. I only remember bits and pieces of what happened. Probably a side effect of whatever Bray Wyatt used to knock you unconscious. Could also explain some of the things I saw out there. Yeah, they're gonna say they're not real. He was high. Most important right now, but unfortunately, we don't know yet how long that might take. So I have some bad news. Triple H is making what? me strip you of the Intercontinental Championship. What? Due to the injuries you've suffered. What the I'm hell? I'm back in time to defend the title. I know I can. I believe you can too. But Triple H doesn't want to wait around and see. Wow. He said his decision was final. I'm sorry. So much for the I'll IC try my title. Best to give you a chance to regain the Intercontinental title when you return. Now try to get some rest, okay? Well, that sucked. What are they going to do if he's not wrestling? What the hell's going to happen with the story then? He goes to sell ice cream. <laughs> he goes to, to become a janitor. Rest and recover, yeah. So what happens during this period? Don't know. I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> he goes and flips burgers for for 10 months. Weeks later. It's been weeks since we last saw Buzz after his kidnapping and battle with Bray Wyatt at Welcome Wyatt's back to compound. Raw. I know you don't like to ease into things. So you'll be in action tonight in a tag ah. match versus the bar. A tag match? Yeah, I got your text about it earlier. Who's my partner? I thought I'd leave that up to you. Ah, cool. I get to choose. I get to choose my own partner. How's this going to work? Goldust, Finn Balor, Jason Jordan, and The Miz. Let's talk to all of them. The scuttlebutt around town is that you're looking for a co-producer tonight. Well, have I got two words for you. Buzz dust. Buzz dust. Or we could be... Gold Buzz. Gold Buzz is actually good. And as a partner, I aim to please, so it's your call. I think I need a veteran. I mean, we're concerned about the match of what our team name would be. Duh. Oh, God. How about Buzz Gold? No, 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 no. That's terrible. Jeez. I'm going to think about this Darn some more. Goldust, you... uh, Finn Balor would be an amazing tag team partner. Are you kidding me? Hey. 
I know you look, they don't have his voice at all in the game. I know you're looking for a partner to take on the bar. Unfortunately, I have a match tonight. How do you know I want to? How do you? How do you know I'd want you to team with me? Just a hunch. You're right. I'd be an honor. Maybe some other time, but I'll say this: I know you're coming off some injuries. This is your first match back. I had a long layoff with a shoulder injury a couple of years back, and I learned you could go half speed when you return. You can't go half speed when you return. It has to be all or nothing, especially against two guys like Seamus and Sidaro. Jason Jordan, I don't hey, want him. I heard from my dad that you're looking for a tag team partner tonight. No, Let's I don't want you. Bar. As someone who's defeated them before, no. I assume you're going to be choosing me. No. You sometimes put your people the wrong way, but I can't discount your talent. You defeated the bar in the past, but how much of that was thanks to your partner, Seth Rollins? Owned. The Miz? Something's different about you, and I can't put my finger on it. I switched shampoos recently. Maybe that's it? No, I just figured it out. It's that you no longer have a title around your waist. In fact, it wasn't that long ago that you had two titles, and nah. now they're both gone. <clears throat> Things change pretty fast around here, don't they? Not everything changes. You're still a giant tool. There's no way in hell I'd be your tag partner tonight. And there's no way in hell I'd ever ask you. So only I can only do Gold Dust or Jason Jordan. I want Gold Dust then. Gold Dust is the best one. Tonight will be the Bar versus Gold Buzz. Yes. The... I won't let you down unless you want me to. Like I said, I aim to please. Let's just win the you match. Got it. Who wouldn't want a veteran like Gold Dust on their team? Seriously, the guy's the guy is, gets older, but he's actually still fucking good. He still do Don't crazy move. shit. We in have the a ring. great match coming up next. We have a team led by a real fan favorite. I cannot wait. All right, well, my first tag match, right? Well, no, actually, I had a tag match and I ran through. It was me and Bobby Roode against Owens and Sami Zayn, but I just I ran right through the match and beat it easily by myself. Remember? The bar is really good, though. Bar is a great tag team. It's hilarious because they started out with singles guys going at it for like six months. They had like a, a ridiculous singles ma uh, uh, program going back and forth. What's the this? Crowd is buzzing with excitement. The buzz is here. With no title though. Introducing first from Seattle, Washington, weighing in at 208 pounds, the King. Is it me or is this guy's 15 minutes of fame expired? I think it's just you because just like a good mattress, Buzz's success seemingly has no expiration date. Is that why our chairs have bed bugs, Saxton? Wow. Moonwalkman, all you missed while you were gone was that I was stripped of the Intercontinental title because I had an injury and I came back and they said, okay, now you're in a random tag match. Okay then. The. <laughs> Shattered dreams, yes. Gold Pure dust. Gold. No robe. I wish you had the robe. Looks really good. Against the bar, we get to see their intro. Where they pose with the light. Here we go. Yeah, well, pay-per-view. This isn't pay-per-view. This is the bars on pay-per-view. It's just, it's not. It's raw. That was the wrong quote. This is the cool intro, though. The intro is awesome. They pose and they do the fusion. At a combined weight of 400. Yes, here it comes. Pounds, fusion. Fusion. Here it is. That's the fucking Dragon Ball Z reference. How cool is that? They do the fusion dance. <laughs> That's really cool that they're both fans of Dragon Ball Z and they do the fusion dance. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Alright. It's the bar on pay-per-view. Cole, this is Monday Night Raw. Oh! Sorry, I'm getting old. <laughs> Win by pinball or submission. And here he is, the man from Lucerne, Switzerland. Ready to Ouch. show his stuff. And whichever team wins this match, here tonight can absolutely make an argument for being one of WWE's top teams. Oh. Cesaro has to be considered one of the pound for pound strongest competitors. Oh yeah, Cesaro is incredibly and strong. Of pound, he's got the strongest uppercuts ever seen in a WWE ring. His clothesline. Oh my god. 
Wow. What a start. He's inflicting some serious pain here. That was just for fun. I knocked Sheamus off the apron for fun. Yes. How's he getting away with this is beyond me. Cesaro not looking so great right now. This Man. tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. It might be time for him to recharge that battery. All he has to do is get oh, to his man. corner nice. and make the attack. Oh my lord, straight oh. right. Good night. Takes him down with a chop block. Cesaro, or, or Sheamus is pretty stupid, he stands there. Derek is back. I didn't know you were facing the bar. Cesaro and Sheamus. That's, just, that's your favorite tag team, isn't it, uh, Derek? The bar? I think it is. Boosh. Destroying Cesaro. Absolutely destroying him. can't be happy with how this is going right now. The abuse his body has gone through in this match is a little disturbing. I don't know why he hasn't made the tag yet. It's almost like... He enjoys the pain. Hey, well, what the hell? I want to hear it now. Sometimes there are positives you can take from a beating like this. Come on, no bullshit. Damn it! I was gonna tag out. <laughs> no! Oh my god, I missed. Hot tag. Oh, there's a hot tag mechanic. I haven't done the hot tag mechanic yet. Oh, oh my man. god. He's starting to feel it here. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team nope. Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. Damn it, I need the stamina. Most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match, and your opponents are playing. Catch what? You reverse backdrop me. Shamus shows us some clever offense here. The two out of three falls match, you saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided to be two out of three falls. Now, this is completely unfair. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme. But the Hardys had other ideas as Matt Double team. Things up at one fall piece after a twist of fate on the Swiss cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double counter. He's talking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. I'm not trying to do this. I'm trying to leave the ring. Tag I'm trying in. to leave the ring. He tagged this Cesaro? Why? Why would he do that? Cesaro oh my god, I'm fucked up. There. Oh, that'll hurt. Okay. Back down to the mat with unbelievable power. And here comes Sheamus in off the tag. His partner wants back in this match, guys. Uh, I don't know why. Ready to go to me. Gold dust filling the heat now. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. Ouch. Tacky, nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Keeps getting reversed. Don't be surprised, Michael. I did not see that. Oh my God, he's doing it. The beats of the Bowery. Oh my God, he knocked him the fuck out. There was a lot on the line in the tag team tournament finals. The Usos wanted to add another tag team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown tag team champions. They're getting in. I'm cheering. I'm doing Slater. my taunts and they're cheering with me. expected to be in the finals. Slater had extra motivation because he was fighting for a WWE contract. And at one point, it seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. After Get him in. Get him Rhino in the ring. They cut Jimmy Uso in half. Rhino and Heath Slater went from an Get him in the ring. Stop talking about Rhino and Heath fucking Slater. What about this match, stupid? Champions. 
Never say never in WWE. Oh, and he makes the tag. That he tags his arm with the flop. Right there, Michael. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against what is doing? committee members Natalia and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner. And Tamina was in oh my God. Carmella's court. Oh, Come on. on. On the mark. His partner's looking to get back in this thing. Caught his breath a bit. Now he's ready to go again. Oh, boy. He is rolling. He won't tag. He won't his freaking tag me. Back in. He's an idiot. Yeah, but what you want and what you get are often two very different What am I supposed things. to do? He won't tag. Look. He won't tag. Oh, boy. He is rolling. Now he gets a signature move. Looks like he wants back in this match. Oh that my god. That looks to be the case, Michael. Check out Goldust's offense. Tag! In off the tag. All right, fuck. He's stumbling some now. His hopes of winning this tag team match are starting to dwindle. He's not looking good, and at this point, he has no there option but to make it to his corner and get his partner in there. Sure, he'd rather not be on the receiving end here, but let's not lose focus of the fact that he's in far well, better that shape wasted a reversal. than his opponent right now. Nicely done. Wasted another reversal. We're seeing Sheamus in a tough situation. And things look bad for the Celtic Warrior right now. This is clearly not the same competitor who started this match in such great shape. Dude, he's this freaking destroyed. Away, guys. It might just come down to which superstar is the next to make a mistake. Oh, I think oh my God, he can't get off. He can't get off. Uh. Well, he's tapped into a power source I wasn't sure he had. See if he can keep it going. He got a finisher? He did. He's got a finisher out of nowhere. That's how you put an X. His shoulders are down. Two. Digging deep. Fuck that. You have to put in a little more work than that. Reversed. Buzz just barely got out of the way. What is Buzz Yes. Got it. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Clear Hit him. mission here. Hit him. Hit him. Do it. Is that enough for the One, win? two, three. Got him. Nice. They got it. Very nice. I can't remember a tag team match in recent memory that was even close to as good as that one was. That Actually, was it was a pretty crappy match. It wasn't a lot of tag team just moves. Just be proud to be a part of a legendary performance. Wow, I haven't seen a match Chuck. like that in a long Here time. I might go winners, home and watch a replay. It was that good. And gold dust. There's no yeah. doubt about it. That's a big pinfall win right there. I knew these two were a great team. I just didn't know how great. Wow, they really impressed me out here. Matches like that are the reason why I love this job so much. Nicely done. Okay, what's next? This is what, chapter 11 now we're in? Yeah, chapter 11. He has no clear Despite path Despite the challenges yet. Buzz faced tonight, he still managed to come out on top. What a return! To Monday Night Raw. Not oh again. no! Apparently Bray Wyatt has unfinished business. Again. He's not alone. Oh, and oh my God, that's Cole. That's off. Cole Quinn. That's Cole Quinn. Sent to the outside. <laughs> oh, from behind. That'll give you some whiplash. Buzz is outnumbered now. Yeah, that's, that's Cole Quinn right there. What an elbow. He's joined the Ouch. Wyatt family. Bray Wyatt making his presence felt. What a shocking uh. turn of events. It's Finn Balor. Finn Balor. Luckily for Buzz, he appears to have made an ally in Finn Balor. I want to know who the heck that guy in the sheet mask was. Byron, go ask Bray. No <laughs> Cole Quinn is with Bray Wyatt. Big Paul Benis chewed and said, what am I getting to be as a pro wrestler? I told you I would be the amazing flatulator. Uh, my finisher would be farting straight into the opponent's face at maximum wind velocity. I welcomed you back last week because I missed you, Buzz. I really did. 
We became so close before your unfortunate injuries took you away from me. So I waited eagerly for you to return while you convalesced. But it was during that time that I met a man. Someone who was once a host of your parasitic behavior. You traveled up and down the road together. Yep, when told it came you. time to emerge from the underground, you left his carcass for the vultures. Hey, at least it's synced. He was no the audio synced now. Anymore, <laughs> but he is of great use to me. You see, in our last encounter, you destroyed something important to me, and now I will destroy someone important to you. But this is of your doing, Buzz. You left him for the vultures, remember? I'm simply doing what comes naturally. Swooping down and consuming the flesh that you left exposed. If only we Buzz still had his text no messages. Idea who this guy is. You have got to be kidding me. Bray Wyatt has recruited Cole Quinn? Or whatever's left of him. Somehow, this just got even more personal. Talk to Cole to show him to break free from Wyatt's control or attack Bray Wyatt. Well, talk to Cole, of course. That's what they would do. The loudest fart just did a 50-bit cheer. Thank you. <clears throat> he said the amazing flatulator you rang. Cole. Cole, it's me. <laughs> I don't know what he's done to you, but I know you're still in there somewhere. You're just confused. I know he can play tricks on your mind because that's what he did to me, but whatever he told you, it's not true. I'm your friend. I care about you. Your words are falling on deaf ears. Cole, show him whose side you're on. Last time we saw Cole Quinn, he was wrestling in Japan. This is uh -oh. not the same Cole Quinn we saw then. No, that Cole Quinn was on good terms with Buzz, and now it appears Bray Wyatt has broken Cole down both physically and mentally. It's obvious that the issues between you two are far from over. Ah. So at Survivor Series, you're going to face each other in a rematch. But this time, I'm going to make sure that the match makes it to the ring and stays there. And there will also be no way for anyone to interfere. Because your match will be taking place in a steel cage. Yeah, a first a steel cage match. With Bray Wyatt in a steel cage match. A real steel Survivor cage match. Because remember, I have one with Cole Quinn at the beginning of this, this my career mode, but it wasn't a real steel cage match. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> In just moments, ladies and gentlemen, we will have competitors locked inside steel. Don't go away. I don't know if we're gonna be we able to finish the this. Talents on the roster today yeah. against Bray Wyatt. I only this have like is going to be interesting. I only have like ten minutes left, so I may have to end here. I may have to end here and try to do this again the next time I play. I'm not gonna have time. That music can mean only one thing. It's Buzz. It's Buzz. Yeah, that that silence can only mean one thing. Content ID! The Firefly, he has the Firefly's entrance. Comes in with his lantern. It's always an eerie scene when Bray Wyatt enters an arena and the Fireflies come out. Okay. All he's gonna do is blow it out and go to the ring anyway. Here we go. This will surely be a true mano a mano test. It's amazing. For more than 50 years, men and women have entered this ring all in the name of greatness to see who is truly the best. I think all right, they want me to give him the red health. Done, we'll be talking about this match for a long time. He reversed. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. <laughs> oh, no. He reversed again. Get his ass. Oh, nice. Oh, Great elbow drop. Elbow. So far, so good. 
With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here. Choke the fucker out. Who's this cameraman? considering who he's in the ring. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. Ooh. Here we go. Bethes Press. Right in the mouth. Relentless. Oh, somebody stop this. He reversed. He's almost at red health, though. And the knee connects. And yeah, I only need a couple more hits. I didn't realize he had such a glass jaw. Straight right. Good night. All right, got him. Oh, Pin him. He is rolling. And a pin attempt. Apparently, he's not in red health. It's got to be over now. He Apparently, he's cover. still not at red health. Okay. Perfectly executed. That'll pretty now much he is. It. There we go. Oh, no. Cole Quinn, watch. Yup. Yup. He's second. in the ring. That's Cole Quinn. And there's so no DQ. The preventing anyone from interfering. And it's two on one yet again. What the fuck? The Demon Balor. The Demon Balor. Here comes Finn Balor. This is exactly what Kurt Angle didn't want to happen. Too late now. Uh. Oh, great. Sister Abigail on is that it? This time, Finn Balor, he yep. can't help him. It's over. Wow. Bray Wyatt has managed to defeat Buzz in a steel cage match. Well, that was fast. All hell broke loose. That was fast and that was bullshit. <laughs> that was bullshit. <clears throat> bullshit. The next night. Which will be Raw. Welcome back to Raw, where Buzz is still feeling the effects from his brutal match last night with Bray Wyatt. You're too late. I used up all the trainer's ice. I don't blame you. That was quite a battle out there last night. Well, thanks again for trying to even up the odds. No need for thanks. After what they did to me last night, it's become a little bit personal for me too. I just can't believe that I gave it everything I had and Bray still managed to come out on top. Was it really everything? Of course it was. What are you saying? Uh oh. I'm saying, to beat someone like Bray Wyatt, you need to get past what you think are your limits and embrace your inner demon. At least, that's what worked for me. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to beat Bray and get Cole back. I just have no idea how I'm supposed to find my inner demon. The inner demon yeah. plotline. Oh no! <laughs> if it is demons that you seek, you should consider venturing to the multiverse with me again. Wait, did he say again? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've never been to the multiverse with you before. You have been before, in a different vessel, which is why it was deleted from your memory. Of course. Uh, I don't know about this. You said you are willing to do whatever it takes. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about this either, Buzz. Oh my god, I don't know what the hell's going on. What in the hell's going on? Alright, well the good news is, there's a break, right? I don't think I can upgrade here. I didn't get anything new, no. All right, so when I continue with my career, I guess we're going with Matt to see what the hell is going on. <laughs> we're going to find the inner demon and then take on Bray Wyatt, which will be pretty cool, I guess. All right, very nice.